channel. Welcome if you're new, I'm G, and today I'm showing you how I style my TWA, uh, not really that tiny, but I just did a big chop a couple weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and I'm just having fun playing around with different styles and trying to figure out how to do things on my own. So I am completely natural. I've started over, and I, it was the best decision ever. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here, but... Today I'm going to show you how I achieve these beautiful, juicy curls and then the top of my head is perm rotted. So I'm going to show you how I kind of mix the two. I'm going to use a Denman brush to define my curls and um, gray perm rods to uh, define the curls at the top. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I have freshly washed hair. Um, it looks crazy right now. You can see my little straight pieces in the front. <laughs> Everything else is pretty much curly, so I'm going to uh, rod up the top. But to be honest, I really don't know what I'm doing. This is literally the second time that I've done this. The first time came out really good, so... I'm semi-confident that I can recreate what I did. I don't know if I want to do the finger coils again or if I want to do the dimming brush method when you um, take the dimming brush and brush your hair up and then the curls form like that. So I really don't know what I'm going to do, but I do know that my hair is drying. So I'm going to take this Miel Curl Refreshing Spray and just kind of spray my hair all over in the back but actually first i'm going to um take this leave-in it's a 10 miracle um spray okay <laughs> this is a new one so i haven't used this um bottle yet so i'm just gonna take it and spray it all over my hair um I really hope that it comes out good this time because I'm having a barbecue tomorrow for Labor Day and I would hate for my hair not to come out good. So I put that in and then I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over it. Just saturate my hair and I'm looking in the mirror on this side if I'm looking away from the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub it in. And I have like a plethora of products. If you're natural, you know products is like hit or miss. You got to be a product junkie. You got to try different things. You got to spend a lot of money. Yeah, this stuff is not cheap. So I've been just trying different products. I have everything from Miel to Echo Style Gel to Edge Control to a uh, lot of body uh, foam lotion to freaking hair butter everything so I'm just gonna see what I can come up with so I have in my leave-in I put in the curl refreshing spray um I think first I'll go in with this Miel Moisture RX um Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Hair Butter my mother-in-law actually left this at my house. She told me to try it for my sons, but I'm going to try it for myself. So I'm just going to kind of take some big clobs and rub it in my hands and kind of rub it through my hair. I'm hoping that this will give my hair some moisture because when I had originally got my hair done, it was so shiny and moisturized and nice, but when I did it, it was kind of dry. So I don't know if I just didn't have the right products. So I'm gonna kind of generously distribute this through my hair just so that I can get some moisture to it. Mm, I look so crazy. Woo. Okay, so this is through my hair. And then I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, I guess I'll start with the, I told you, I don't know what I'm doing. So fingers crossed that this comes out, that this comes out nice. So I'm going to go in with the Lotta Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. 
and generously like pumps of pumps of pumps of this in my hair. Feel like the wetter and more saturated the better. So I'm gonna start with the nape. Um, take my comb, comb through it. Maybe I should zoom you guys in. So take my comb and kind of comb through the nape. Part a little section, just straight across. And then I will decide if I'm going to finger coil or if I'm going to do the Denman brush method and guys i don't know what uh type curls i have i don't really know <laughs> it's a four uh something I, I really think it's maybe like a 4b 4a ish 4b ish 4a ish but honestly i don't even bother with all that curl type stuff i mean there's so many different textures in my head and I'm pretty sure it's the same if you're natural so it's not even in any point to me of trying to classify it. So I have a small section sectioned off in the back and I'm going to go in with the green, I think this is yeah, the olive oil echo style gel and I'm going to take a generous amount of this too and kind of rake it through and when I got my uh, taper cut my stylist did not use any um razors or clippers or anything so my nape of my neck is so like curly with like baby hair so it's not like a crisp cut so i have to kind of like finesse those little curls back there so i have the gel in my hair and i'm just going to try something out so i'm going to take the dimming brush i hope you guys can see this and just see if I like how it looks just like taking the brush and doing like this so you just kind of like curling upward hmm. well, first I'm going to give myself some little swirls for my baby hair I think it looks super cute and I agree when my stylist said I was gonna leave it I really like that I think it's cute I was like yeah I agree I think it's kind of cute just to have like those little wispy pieces back there just so that it's not so like sharp and what's the word I'm looking for crisp and like deliberate that's the word kind of just wanted to look just, just like curls so she didn't um, take the clippers to any part of my hair. So she just cut with scissors. So um, do I like how this is coming out? Because honestly, to me, the finger coiling is just too tight. I kind of want it more curly. Hmm. I'll have to look in the back to see. And the last time I did it, I did not use Echo Style. I used uh, Aunt Jackie's Curl Jelly or something like that. But to be honest, I just feel like Echo Style is that girl. <laughs> like, I think that's what's going to give me the best results. So, okay, I kind of like the Dimming Brush method. So, like I said, I'm just, if you can see, I am just raking it in like a like a U motion. I'm trying to think like a U. So like, like this, just to flip the curls up. And I think I actually kind of like how that's coming out. Okay. So then I'm going to section another part off. I know at some point I have to show you guys the back. Honestly, I need to show myself the back. So let's see if i can turn around so that you guys can get a good look at the back okay so you can see the back um yeah let me get my mirror so that i can see the back So you can see it is a super 
curly back there honestly i think i might do some finger coils just to the back because the back is super short so i might yeah i might try to finger coil some pieces in the back and then do the um and then do the dim and brush method to the top and then you'll see me doing the front and how I raw the straight part of my head. Okay, so I am back and I love the back of my head. I'm gonna show you. My curls are juicy. I love it. I'm, I'm feeling this uh, dim and brush method. So I'm getting closer to the top of my head and like I said I'm taking like kind of small sections the parts aren't super straight I hope you guys can hear me because my husband is mowing the grass right outside of my window in my um, studio so please don't mind that so like I said I'm taking like small sections and kind of putting them away so I'm taking some pumps of the foaming lotion, raking it through my head. And then I'm taking the Echo Style Gel. I really do. And uh, evenly distributing that throughout my... Okay, my apologies, my camera overheated. So I already went ahead and did this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did on that side. So I took some pumps of the foaming lotion, or what is this called? Foaming mousse. I generously put that through my head. And I think I'm gonna kind of wave out my um, edges. So I'm kind of not too concerned about those right now. So I have the mousse going through and then I take a good amount of um, Echo Style and kind of rake it through.
and then I'll take the Den Men. I really hope you guys can see this. Take the Den Men and flip it up. So I have these juicy, juicy curls. I hope you can see. And then I just do the same thing, just going all around my head, basically. Super simple. I just hope that um, I like how it comes out, but I think I will because this isn't as defined as the finger coils and I kind of like that. This is more uh, kind of showing your natural curls. Like with the finger coils, it's very manipulated. This is kind of like just letting the curls fall where they fall. so that I can keep that part because if I don't it'll just go ahead and curl up and do whatever it wants so I'm putting a lot of gel right there at the part and after I wave it I'm going to um, take some clips and clip it in place because I'm going to sit under a hooded dryer just to um, let this style dry so I'm going in and doing what I've been doing I'm kind of detangling as I go, but I'm loving how my curls are just getting into formation, like without any product. So my hair is getting there. I'm so happy I big chopped. It was such a good decision. I'm in love with my hair. I feel prettier than I did with longer hair. And I know like a lot of women find that their femininity lies in their hair, but I'm telling you, once you cut it off, it's like your face is free. <laughs> Like you're just free and your face just pops. Like I don't even know how to explain it. I just feel super pretty. And I guess it doesn't help that I have these lashes on. <laughs> I have lash extensions from Eyelash DMV. I'll have uh, my lash text information link below. But the lashes definitely help. I'm not going to lie. So right here, this piece is straight. So like I said, I have a lot of straight pieces in the front. So I'm going to go ahead and wave out this front and i haven't done this in a long time so wish me luck so i'm going to take some of the foaming lotion put it at the front and which comb i think i'll start with the rat tail and so i'm just making like a c shape and then another c and then bringing it back It's not perfect by any means. There he goes with the lawnmower. 
but yeah my wave is not perfect by any means and that's okay and what I'm actually going to do with this very straight piece is perm rod it so I'll go ahead and show you what I do to perm rod it so I use these gray perm rods they're kind of small and then uh, what my stylist taught me was she told me to cut the wrap strips into like little rectangles and put them on the ends of the perm rod. That way you get a that way you get a sleek finish. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap like I normally would. And there we go. And I think once I dry my hair, I may go and do my wave again with edge control. So I'm kind of just molding it into the shape that I want it to be. Yeah, this comb is much better. So taking a wider tooth comb, it's just gonna wave up. So I'm not even expecting it to be anything perfect. And then I might just take some gel to it, just to kind of hold it there. Wow, these curls are popping. Okay, and so like I said, I'm gonna um, hold this part down, take some more gel, make sure it's nice and slick, and then I'll take um, some of these silver clips and just clip it down to hold the part in place. And then I think I have like a few more sections in the back that need to be um, dim and brushed. And then I'll start at the top of my head with the perm rods. So as you can see, I've already kind of started perm rotting some of them because the thing about the top of my head is that some of the curls look <laughs> curly until you actually start manipulating it and then it turns into like a noodle. So I've had to go in and perm rot some of the pieces that I thought were curly. So I've already started. So basically all I do is take um, smaller sections, make sure I comb through it. Um, same routine as with the dim and brush. I'm going to put some foam and some gel and rake that through, comb it through, smooth it through. But the only difference is, and I want my curls to kind of fall down on my face. So like I said, I take the wrap strips, put it to the ends of my hair so that the ends are covered. Take my perm rod and... Curl, I said curl, <laughs> curl in the direction that I want the curls to go in. And I don't do them super tight, like my roots are kind of loose, so it's not really hurting my head or anything. And so I have a good amount of my top that is still um, heat damaged, a lot of it is still straight. And so I take this side because I want the curls to fall on this side since my part is on this side. So I'll take another smaller section. Comb through it. Mousse it. Or oh, not mousse, but. I want to call this stuff so much different. It's, this is not even Nairobi. I want to call it everything. This is the Lada Body Wrap Me Foaming Mousse. Oh, so it is mousse, whatever. So I'll take this, comb it through, take a good amount of gel from root to tip, comb that through, piece of wrap strip, Get my ends really smooth. Wrap the wrong, the wrap strip. <laughs> I cannot talk. Wrap the wrap strip around the curl rod and close it. 
And like I said, it's nothing perfect about what I'm doing. I was very shocked that my hair even turned out nice the first time because I had no clue of what I was doing. I only watched her put the perm rods in. And honestly, this is my first, well, second time now, but that was my first time even manipulating natural hair. Like I used to uh, kind of flexi rod my hair sometimes when my hair was longer. That was, this is the closest that, I, that I'm getting to that. And what I noticed, what I did the first time I did my hair was that I used large sections. So I kind of want to do them smaller this time. And what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and kind of re-wet the top of my head. And like I said, this is the Curl Refreshing Spray from Miel. And then I think I'll take a large amount of foam just so I can kind of get this re-wet. It's kind of dry. Yeah, and kind of just rub that through. And what I've noticed with wearing my hair like this is that less is not <laughs> more more is more like you cannot have enough product in your hair and then i'm just repeating those steps uh -oh. <laughs> curling and closing Sun has gone down, so if there's different lighting, 
I got a robe of what God's given us. So right now I am getting ready to take the perm rods out. All I did was finish up the top of my head and then I sat under a hooded dryer for about an hour. So I'm going to just take these out now and then I'll show you how I end up styling it. Um, I did wave the side like I said I would and pretty much this is how my curls look so they're pretty curly I really like the Denman brush method a lot better than the finger coils I just think that it kind of gives me a curlier look so I hope that you guys can see what this looks like up close And all I do to the top of the curls is I take some oil. This is grapeseed oil. I mean, you can use coconut oil or whatever you like. I'm still trying to figure out a good like oil or serum to use for my curls, but this is what I have. So I just take a good pump of it, kind of work it through my fingers and then go in and separate the curls. And you want to make sure that you have some type of serum or oil or something when you do this because if you don't it's going to be super frizzy so don't be afraid to kind of overdo it with the products like I mentioned before like with natural hair I just feel like the products it just eats your product so just more is more remember that And then I just kind of play around with it just to get how I want it. Um, you can use a pick to kind of pick out the roots if you want more volume and height. I kind of like it like this close to my head. And I mean, over time, you don't want to over pluck your curls. Like I don't even touch the back of my head. You don't want to over pluck it because after a while, then it's kind of just going to get frizzy. They'll kind of unravel on their own. So I don't want to really do too much to the top of my head. And this one was still kind of wet, but I don't want to do too much to the top because I know after a while it'll kind of do its own thing. Um, I love this style. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it too. Um, I am going to be coming with a lot of different videos because I'm just like enjoying trying different methods and different products and different ways to get my hair to curl and it's just just fun to me like i hair is my passion i don't know if i've said that before i've been doing hair since i was like seven so this i've never had my hair like this and this is like really fun to me like it's something new and something different and i'm enjoying playing around with it so this is um how i style my twa uh, like I said, stay tuned for more videos like this. I'm definitely going to 
put the content out because I'm just trying everything and playing around and I want you guys to see different ways and different styles to style and manipulate your natural hair. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am on a 1,000 subscriber journey. Help me get there. Um, I know I mentioned in my last video, 100 subscribers, like I'm still in kind of shock because I didn't even think anyone would watch. So I'm just so happy and excited to continue my YouTube journey. And now that I have my hair like this, this is going to get even, even more fun. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.